Hey, um, you know, the, we have we don't really know what the movie's really about or what you're actually playing. All we saw so far is a picture of you holding a gun. Right. So who are you and what, what, what exactly uh, are you doing? Well, the movie takes place in the future mm -hmm. and uh, it's about 140 years in the future and uh, Earth has become a third world planet and all of the ultra rich have moved to a, uh, an orbital habitat called Elysium. Mm -hmm. and it's this giant kind of tourist that sits out about 125 uh, kilometers away um, but it's like perfect so all mansions and beautifully manicured lawns and you know there, there are med bays in every house where if you just lie down if you have any kind of precancerous cell mm -hmm. it's like eliminated immediately and um, you know and basically paradise basically paradise well, but what are, what is who, who are you playing my character is a guy who's like everyone else on earth always dreams of somehow making it to Elysium uh, but uh, but is kind of resigned now to living on Earth, and he's working in a factory, and something happens that kind of necessitates his getting to Elysium right away. So that kind of kicks off the movie. What drew you to working with Neil? Did you just, you saw, did you just watch District 9 and just thought, I want to work with this guy? Yeah, yeah, I mean, District 9 was amazing. And so, uh, I, the second I saw it, I walked out of that, I was like, that he went to the top of my list, the people that I wanted to work with. Um, so I was, I was fortunate that he came around so fast. Yeah. yeah, and you had to shave your, your head for this movie as well. I did. I had to shave my head, and uh, and uh, that was something from Neil. Like when I met Neil, he had a whole graphic novel, um, like a script, you know, which was great, but also a whole graphic novel that he'd done on his computer. Um, with it, and it had a really specific idea of how everything should look, every detail about the about Elysium, and every detail about how Earth looked, and every character, how they should all look, and. Part of it was, you know, a shaved head with like, you know, tattoos all over, and, and you know, kind of a guy who looked like he spent time in prison. Mm. Okay, here. So we're asking people really absurd sci-fi questions today. You have a time machine. You can only throw the lever once. Do you go to the past or the future? You're stuck there forever. Mm. Well, let's go forward. Forward? Yeah. Why forward? Um, well, I mean, I, I, I imagine you could go backward and have a, a, a pretty interesting, you know, like investment strategy that would lead you to become a tycoon pretty quickly, um, you know, which would be, but you'd essentially be hanging around with a bunch of dead people, right. <laughs> you know, uh, which might just turn into a totally kind of nihilistic fantasy, which might just morally corrupt you to the point that like you know I don't know I just see it going dark so go forward I, and stay good well go forward and, and just and see what happens you know I mean who knows like you might wind up you know with the singularity then just get your head blown off the second the door opens you know you never know <laughs> but into the unknown